you could not evict a homeowner from their house. This also applied to local municipalities. So if a city had a troubled property with a troubled tenant, they could not forcibly evict or vacate the occupant, even though the house was substandard, run down, and was causing blight to the neighborhood. There's nothing the city could do. These are called lucrative liens, okay? Now, here's the background on this. Now, lucrative liens, just to help you understand where these come from, it starts when a neighbor complains to the city about trash or questionable people hanging around a property. The city will then send letters to the owner encouraging them to eliminate the nuisance either inside the home or outside of the home, whatever's going on, the city says, hey, you need to take care of this. Now, in this property that you're looking at, the owner wanted to fix her situation. However, she did not have the financial wherewithal to comply with the city's requests. So what are this homeowner's options? Well, she could rob a bank, which is out of the question. She could knock, knock off a liquor store, which she's probably not going to do. She could abandon the house, in which case she would get nothing for it, or she could call a certified expert, okay? Now, on this deal that I'm talking to you guys about, here's how she found us. She responded to one of our many proprietary marketing strategies. I'll show you those in a minute. And then she called to inquire about what we could do to help her in this unfortunate situation. Now, this launched an entirely new acquisition strategy, and it's a big contributor to our deal flow and the profits that we've occurred and enjoyed over the last five years. Now, here's something else that's really exciting about this particular strategy. It went away completely. It did not exist in 2020, 2021, 2022, and the first two quarters of 2023. It just started coming back online third quarter of last year year. Now, the thing that brought this to my attention is my contact within the city sent me an email. Now, I, had, I was receiving frequent emails from him in 2015 and 16 and 17 and 18 and 19, but it was a ghost town for 2020, 21, 2022, and 2023. Why? Well, you guys remember, there's a federal moratorium, federal being nationwide, that you could not evict a homeowner from their house. This also applied to local municipalities. So if a city had a troubled property with a troubled tenant, they could not forcibly evict or vacate the occupant, even though the house was substandard, run down, and was causing blight to the neighborhood. There's nothing the city could do. That no longer exists. We are back to a market where the city now has the ability to enforce homeowners to deal with the rubbish, uh, um, the, the people coming and going and, and, and doing things inside and outside of the property that are outside of what is considered city code for what you can and can't do. Now, this house that I'm showing you here, right here, Okay, take a mental picture of that house. Here it is again. Now, it was such a success that we got featured on the front page, page of the local newspaper as the company, the go-to company to help homeowners that are at risk of losing their home to a lien foreclosure. Now, this is the secret sauce of this. A lot of people don't realize that a city can attach a lien to a property for a violation of code enforcement, and the city can then foreclose the lien. Now, this foreclosure will not come to the courthouse steps where a non-judicial or judicial foreclosure might occur. This is a foreclosure that's going to occur in a courthouse. Now, don't worry about all of that because when we get involved, it's never gonna get there. See, when we get involved, what would normally take the city three years to execute, we can handle it within a matter of days. 
So the cities would much rather work with us than take the homeowner through this arduous three-year foreclosure and eviction process when within days we can have the situation dealt with, we can have the occupant with additional options, and we all make money. Homeowner makes money, the city gets the property dealt with, and everyone wins. That's why this is such an incredible opportunity.